I can tell you that the number one problem in Hollywood was and is and always will be p Nobody talks about p I can tell you that the biggest issue facing Hollywood has been, is and always will be, that no one talks about it. It's a big secret. What I'm saying is that some of the richest and most powerful people in the industry are among those who are responsible for what happened to Corey and me, and they do not want me to say what I'm saying right now. Oh no 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 Prozac, oh no no description didn't work. The project didn't work. Are you a good mother? I'm an excellent mother ever. Do what's in front of your child, and they do not want me to say what I'm saying at this time. The Hollywood underbelly is becoming more and more visible, and in the last few months, Corey Feldman has been outspoken about how the industry can take advantage of young talent with the help of their handlers. Several revelations have revealed aspects of Hollywood, such as the behaviour of the Hollywood elite and the exploitation of individuals, which was brought to light through a contentious film. As new information comes to light, they do not want me to share what I'm saying at this time. Are you confirming that they are still in business? Women in the entertainment industry have been sharing their experiences shedding light on the unsettling realities behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. However, not all of these experiences and claims are treated with the seriousness they deserve as exemplified in Corey Feldman's case despite. Corey Feldman's efforts to speak out about the abuse and exploitation he experienced in the industry, his claims often went unheard or were not taken seriously, nevertheless he persevered and found a way to a reveal the truth about his experiences and Marty Weiss was a guy who'd been kidnapping me since I was 11 years old, he was part of the science fiction awards or whatever it was called, Many aspire-firing actors see Hollywood as the pinnacle of their dreams, but the reality of the industry has been coming to light in recent months. Several celebrities have been sharing disturbing details about their experiences in Hollywood shedding light. On the darker side of the industry, these revelations have spaked. Arced discussions and in some cases backlash from the public, the claims made by Corey Feldman regarding his experiences in Hollywood have not gotten the attention they deserve. He began his career as a child actor and rose to fame for his performance in the 1985 movie, The Goonies. Unfortunately, like many young actors, Corey had to deal with inappropriate behaviour from both industry professionals and members of his own family. These experiences shed light on the less glamorous aspects of Hollywood that may be encountered by young actors. As a result, after seeing The Goonies, I began to lose a little bit of it, and then by sticking with my major, okay, it occurred to me that you were already drinking coke on standby. Corey Feldman began his acting career at the tender age of three at such a young age. A child cannot provide informed consent or fully understand the implications of entering the entertainment industry. It often falls upon the parents to make these decisions and it's clear that Corey's mother was aware of the potential financial gains associated with her child's career. This early start in the industry would shape Corey's life in profound ways as he would go on to face the challenges and darker ass. Ex of Hollywood because my mom was doing it with somebody on the set of The Lost Boys, okay this little hot little Asian woman, who I was sitting there one night because I was like falling asleep and I was depressed because I'm like during Corey Feldman's career peak, he lily earned a substantial Amount of money, however, Corey has alleged that his mother exploited his earnings. This is a common issue faced by many child stars in the entertainment industry in response to these challenges and the net. E to protect their earnings, some child stars like Corey have taken legal steps to emancipate themselves from their parents' control. These actions have contributed to improving working conditions for child actors, over the years as the industry has become more sensitive to the rights and well-being of young performers when this little Asian woman approached me and said, hey, you should just do what your mom does to stay awake. I was a little frustrated and wondered what she was talking about. 
It turns out that in the 1980s, there wasn't as much awareness and knowledge among actors, especially young ones, about how to protect themselves from potential abuse and exploitation in Hollywood. In 2013, Corey Feldman bravely published a memoir detailing the abuse he and his co-star, Corey Haim, suffered at the hands of powerful men in Hollywood. Feldman claimed that these abuses happened when they were just 11 or 13 years old. I thought, oh, okay, well, she makes it sound so easy and harmless, I might as well if my mom's doing it, how bad could it be, you know? Feldman's experiences during that era served as a cautionary tale for future generations of actors entering the industry. You know, once you reach those ages, people start treating you more like an adult and the work code still applies. The abuse and exploitation that Corey Feldman revealed about his experiences in Hollywood during his career, especially as a child, extended beyond his experiences there. He also revealed that the trauma he went through during those trying times contributed to his later struggles with substance abuse. I think we did it because it was enjoyable. We were sitting in this girl's apartment when she took me out for the first time and taught me how to drive a stick shift high on. In one of his interviews, he stated, I can tell you that the number one problem in Hollywood was and is and always will be nobody talks about. It's the big secret. Because of Corey Feldman's choice to come forward and maybe name the people who hurt him and Heim, the entertainment industry has long struggled with accusations of abuse particularly involving child performers. In order to ensure child actors' well-being and prevent abuse and mistreatment, Feldman's willingness to bring these issues to light has sparked important conversations that could change how the entertainment industry addresses and prevents abuse and mistreatment, especially among its youngest. Members, the case of Brooke Shields is another example of a young actor who faced challenges and exploitation in the industry at a young age. You become still stunned. Children aren't meant to handle that kind of material after all. Since the beginning, Corey has been disclosing suspected unethical behaviour in Hollywood, but as it became evident that he was growing more vocal, others in the business started to silence him, preventing him from disclosing more. Barbara Walters was one of those people, and they did not want me to say what I am saying at this moment, that is, that they are indeed still in business. It's possible that Barbara Walters, who's known for her incisive interviews, went too far in a recently discovered video footage from an October 2013 episode of The View. The seasoned media personality touched on a delicate subject during the segment, Corey Feldman's past experiences of abuse. He had come on the show to talk about his memoir choreography. So, yeah, and that's what you're in your book when you talk to her. Yeah, when you talk to parents right now, Corey. They would also attend children's charity events and film awards. They would arrange these parties where you would go in and see largely youngsters with a few adult men. After Barbara Walters interviewed Corey Feldman, Many commentators noted that she seemed to place more value on Hollywood's reputation than on Feldman's claims of being sexually abused as a child. All I'm trying to say is that this is a really serious and significant matter. While other actors were sharing their experiences of sexual assault in the industry, the video